Did you know some barrels have fish in them, or the fact that Herobrine might still exist? Join me as we take a look at 40 facts in Minecraft. There originally was going to be a barrel variant that contained fish. This most likely would have been the block to create fishermen in villagers. It uses the old fish texture rather than the cod texture now used in Minecraft, a little throwback to the old fishing mechanics. Herobrine has been the myth of Minecraft forever now, and who knows, he might be real? Mojang was sure to remind us they definitely removed Herobrine in the patch notes of the game, so he's probably not real. I even built the shrine that's supposed to summon him. Pink sheep are the rarest sheep to spawn, as you all know, but it's even rarer for its babies to spawn. A pink sheep has a spawn rate of 0.15%, whilst a baby pink sheep has a spawn rate of 0.008%, which is roughly 20 times rarer. It is entirely possible to get absolutely nothing from the Desert Pyramid chest, while incredibly unlikely the loot table can give nothing as a drop, so if you're incredibly unlucky you will see nothing in the chest, just be careful of the pressure plate. Endermen hate being stared at, but what if you were invisible? Sneaking or being invisible actually reduces the detection range on which an Enderman can detect you. This increases with the amount of armour pieces you have on, so make sure not to be wearing any armour to avoid detection. We know that zombies can randomly spawn with weapons and armour, but this is only true in difficulties above easy. The higher the difficulty, the more likely they are to spawn with weapons and armour. Trap chests have been largely forgotten about since there's not much practicality to use than a normal chest, but an awesome feature of the trap chest is the ability to make a key for it so no one can steal your diamonds. This is done using the slash data command, so only an item named Night in Secret Stash can open the chest. This can be easily done using an anvil. After finding the stronghold, a random number of the frames will be already filled in, allowing you to fill the rest and go to the end. The probability of finding one with zero eyes is roughly 28%, however, finding one with all the eyes filled in is a one in a trillion chance. Iron golems start to crack after taking a lot of damage. This is a perfect reminder for you to heal them with iron ingots. You can even use the iron ingots from their fallen brother. Is it possible to find a ruined portal that is complete? Naturally, no, but if you're lucky, you can find obsidian in the chest and complete it yourself, so it's just as good as finding a completed ruined portal, right? Clocks have existed since Alpha and have been quite a useless item. They only work in the overworld and at that point just look upwards. In fact, they were more useful in Alpha than they were today. They were about four times more precise at displaying the day than clocks currently in the game. With the Alpha clocks having 228 distinct frames and the modern clocks only having 64 distinct frames. Fossils can be found between 0 to 320 or minus 63 to minus 8 underground. They can also rarely contain diamond ore in them too. Only skulls and spine fossils generate, making many believe this was a giant ancient dragon that existed in prehistoric Minecraft times. Do you love your pet parrot? Do not feed it a cookie then. Cookies are made from coca beans, or in short, chocolate. In real life, chocolate is a toxin to parrots, and Minecraft also reflects this by killing parrots instantly if you feed them any sort of chocolate. In this example, cookies. When we think of the first foods added into Minecraft, we think of apples as they were the first edible food on versions of Minecraft released to public. However, the title actually goes to the mushroom, fully edible and added before apples. This was quickly removed however, and they stayed inedible in their raw form to this day. When crafting a cake, if you're playing on the PS4 version of Minecraft, you'll get an achievement called The Lie. This is a reference to the game series Portal developed by Valve, in which you are promised a delicious cake only to be lied to. I made it all up. Surprise. Polar bears are cute little things that live in snowy biomes. They are non-aggressive to players unless provoked. That doesn't apply to foxes, however. Polar bears are always aggressive towards foxes no matter what. The cubs of the polar bears are even more aggressive to foxes. Guess the cubs learned from childhood that the fox is a known enemy of the polar bear. Every single mineral in Minecraft could either be found in loot chests or dropped by mobs, making mining them completely useless. Iron ingots dropped from zombies, gold from zombified piglins, copper ingots from drowns, and redstone from witches. Foxes have a small chance to spawn with emeralds in their mouth, and diamonds and neverite ingots can spawn in loot chests. Carpets have much more useful features than just being a decorating block. They can be used on llamas to change the colour of their rug on their back, and even be used as fuel when smelting. It has the third worst burn time of any material, only just beating bamboo. 
When you think of weird mob loot, you probably think of items such as music discs, which have a very specific requirement to drop, but what if I told you there was an even weirder item drop? When a turtle is killed by a lightning bolt, it drops a ball. I have no idea why this would ever be a drop, but apparently it does. The fastest way to break melons and pumpkins is with an axe, with a wooden axe splitting the time in half it takes to harvest it. However, there is another effective tool that can be used to harvest melons and pumpkins, which is a sword. While not faster than any axe, it is faster than with no tool at all. You may know that piglins become neutral when wearing any piece of golden armour, but did you know they become aggressive when you open an ender chest, regardless of if you're wearing armour or not? Probably because they think you've got stashes of gold in there. We're always told not to walk on train rails as this is incredibly dangerous. In Minecraft, the mobs were told the same. Some mobs including zombies, skeletons and sheep will actively avoid walking on rails. If they are pushed onto rails, they will quickly walk away to avoid getting hit by a minecart. Most music discs take the form of vinyl records. The one exception to this is Music Disc 11. Composed by C418, the eerie sounds heard in the disc have been theorised by many to what it could be. The most popular theory being that whoever is in the disc is running from Herobrine before the end where hissing is heard, presumed to be creepers. Cacti will usually spawn one or two blocks high, unusually does it spawn much higher. You'll be lucky to find naturally spawning cacti three to five blocks high, however there have been some cases where cacti break this limit with a natural 22 and 23 block high cactus. If you play Minecraft on Halloween, some hostile mobs can spawn with carved pumpkins on their heads. You can slay these monsters for the chance of the carved pumpkin to drop. Talk about spooky. Fire resistance potions saves our butts in the nether. I can't tell you how many times I've been saved thanks to this potion. Something you may not have known though, that it clears some of the fog that you see when you're inside lava, allowing you to see more clearly. This is the same effect as night vision when you are underwater. Milk. You either love it or hate it. Milk can be obtained by milking cows, but it can also be gotten by milking mushroom cows and goats. You may have known that, so here's something you definitely wouldn't have known. Back in beta, if there were no cows about, just milk a squid. Yup, you heard me, you could get milk from squids by simply using a bucket on them. The nether is extremely hot, that's why water, snow and ice doesn't work in the nether. This is true for snow golems too, however, if they are given the fire resistance effect, they survive. Now you can build your army of snow golems in the nether, providing you have enough fire resistance potions. To mine obsidian, you require a diamond pickaxe or better, yet an enchantment table made from obsidian requires a minimum of a wooden pickaxe to break. How the heck does that even work? The same is true for beacons and ender chests, both made from obsidian yet can be broken with wooden pickaxes. If you don't like the names of your containers, you can simply rename them. By renaming the container in an anvil, when it plays, it contains the new name and the GUI. This works with almost all containers, the most useful being chess. Now you can sell all of your items super easily. Destroying items sometimes is a necessity, and by far the easiest way to do that is by throwing it into lava. Oh, well that didn't go right. Another way to destroy them is dropping an anvil on them. Yes, you heard me. Dropping an anvil on some items completely destroys them. Even the toughest items like never stars that cannot be destroyed by explosions. Getting with a skeleton skulls takes ages. Isn't there a way to speed this up? Besides the looting enchantment, there is a guaranteed way to get a wither skeleton skull every time. By having a charged creeper explode and kill the wither skeletons, the head is a guaranteed drop. Now you just need to figure out a way to get them through the portal without exploding. The mushroom fields is the rarest biome in the game. They can only spawn surrounded by deep ocean biomes, so if you've ever found this biome, consider yourself lucky. This is the only biome where mushroom cows spawn, as well as the only biome where mycelium spawns naturally. There are several unused potions in both the Bedrock and Java edition of Minecraft. Both versions are missing absorption, blindness, haste, health boost, hunger, levitation, mining fatigue, nausea, resistance and saturation potions. Java has an extra potion missing known as the potion of luck. If a player gives the effect to themselves through the command such as slash effect, they do have the matching symbol to go along with them. When throwing an egg, it has a 1 in 8 chance of spawning a baby chicken. If you're lucky enough when this happens, there is a further 3% chance that it might spawn 3 extra baby chickens, putting this at a total of 0.004% chance to getting quadruple chicks when throwing an egg. 
Light levels are something we all have to deal with to stop mob spawning, but there are many blocks that emit light you probably didn't know about. For example, brewing stands, brown mushrooms, end portal frames and even the dragon egg all emit light. These are however the worst light emitters in Minecraft, only emitting a light level of 1. Endermen can dodge projectiles such as arrows and snowballs by simply teleporting somewhere else, but if we remove all the blocks around the enderman so it can't teleport, the enderman simply reflects the projectiles, so it's not that we couldn't hit them, they were apparently just immune to projectiles. When we think of hoes, we always think they're just useful for farming, right? Like why spend diamonds or even a neverite ingot on a hoe? Well some blocks actually break quicker with a hoe. The main ones include hay bales, sponges, moss blocks and even leaves. For leaves, a hoe breaks them just as fast as shears, so no need to waste neverite on that. If you've ever died on Minecraft, then you know about the score feature, but what actually calculates the score? Well, it's simply experience. The score is the number of experience the player has collected since their last death, not the experience on death. The hunger bar is something we're all familiar with, but behind the hunger bar is a much more complicated mechanic called saturation. Think of saturation as an energy bar. You do something productive like running and it goes down. When the saturation bar reaches zero, only then your hunger level starts to deplete. You know your saturation is zero when the hunger bar starts jiggling. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. It greatly helps YouTube promote my content. Subscribe if you're new and have a wonderful day.